Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Uh, this time around we want to start moving a little bit closer to the first cave that we're gonna do. But in order to do that, obviously I need to move some of the troops uh, closer to the location where the first cave is. And we're gonna follow the quest system uh, in the game uh, to do that. But right now I need to quickly face one of the Alpha Raptors that just spawned here. This is going to be good XP for us. Yep, so I'm gonna clear the area first, so I don't get any <coughs> distractions, let's say. Because any herbivores in the area might distract the Alpha Raptor and might cause me to uh, misplace some things. Also, on the raft that you see on the right in the screen there, I also captured another uh, Terizino, which is a pretty high level, I couldn't uh, help myself, uh, actually. I need more troops for the days to come, right? So we need to start preparing a little army to be able to take on the more dangerous creatures on the island, like the Titans and uh, the Alpha Rexes that uh, we are gonna start seeing pretty soon, right? So right now I'm trying to clear the area of any dangers so I can tame properly and also to be able to kill the Alpha Raptor without any, you know, Mistakes, because any mistakes right now could cost me my Argentavis or even my uh, character, right? I'm doing this on hardcore, so if I die, I will have to restart for, from level 10 and I don't want to do that. Okay, for the time being, the Alpha seems to be stuck there. Maybe that's a good thing for us, we'll see. I'm analyzing everything to see exactly what he's able to do or not under those trees. I picked up the Terry, one of the Terry's in the army, and now I'm uh, slowly moving towards him, trying to corner him, helping with my Argentavis and dealing the most damage with the Terizino because he has an insane attack, also range, but also melee damage. So yeah, this is going to go pretty smoothly if I'm careful. I'm gonna use the rock foundations here and kill it which I did right now and that gave me a couple of levels on the Terry because uh, the Terry gave the finishing blow basically as you can see here I have uh, four points to add I'm gonna go health each of the, each of the Terry's in the army is gonna have to have at least 10,000 hit points to be able to sustain any heavy fighting we are gonna do in the future right also remember that uh, Terizinos are herbivores, so you don't need to keep the meat on them. Just remove it so you can have uh, more free range on weight. So you can carry, you know, other stuff that you might need. Alright, that being done, now we have to take care of uh, taming the other one. I still don't have the uh, Trank darts. Probably I'm gonna research those in the near future for the time being. I have a pretty decent uh, crossbow and a lot of uh, trank arrows that I got from basically from free, you know, by just killing alphas and stuff like that. And I'm gonna use them. It's a bit difficult. The raft is not exactly 100% bulletproof against Terries. Terries can actually destroy the raft if I'm not careful. So I'm going to try to take it by surprise on board the raft, move it a little bit further away for any danger areas and after that I'm gonna start tranking it. But remember, before you start tranking anything that you wanna tame, first try and get a good night's nice sleep in the game. That will decrease uh, basically the food. Right? The creature is gonna starve and is going to tame a lot uh, faster. This way. So eating a couple of uh, replenishable myself and getting to sleep and after that we'll start the taming process which should go pretty fast uh, this one is a pretty high level it's gonna take more than 50 trank arrows probably around uh, 70 uh, still i didn't see any level 150 generated beasts in the game i don't know why usually you can find a couple on the settings that i'm running the display through right now but this 130 is going to have to do. Uh, if I tame it correctly, it should gain like 40 levels, no problem. Just from the taming effect. 
Now we're starting to hit it with rank arrows, not necessarily aiming for the head. That's gonna cause even more damage and we don't want to kill it, we just want to trank it. As you can see, the Terry automatically targets the boat, which is quite bad. It can uh, actually deal damage to the structure beneath the stone walls. And guess what? Be beneath those stone walls, you have uh, <laughs> the raft itself. <coughs> so pretty dangerous. All right. <coughs> So, we've spent about 30 arrows right now, but I was able to move it from attacking the raft to attacking one of the ceilings, which is better. It can't deal that much damage to the ceilings. Okay. It's always... Uh, <laughs> the, the tranking is always uh, hard wrenching because you lose a lot of arrows. But as I said, in my case, the arrows are free. I gain them for free, so no big deal. I also have a bunch of uh, narcotics ready to go just in case I need more arrows, but that shouldn't be the case. Again, the game freezes up from time to time. Not the stable of the updates, unfortunately, but we go what what we got, right? So. Right about there, that's the sweet spot to get the most tranky effect. We're gonna use the uh, this crossbow as much as we can. It's a blue one, so it should do the trick. Starting to run away, so I can move closer to it, so I don't waste any arrows. And there it goes, a little over 70 arrows used, it's starving, I'm going to use all the uh, Majos that I have in my inventory, and it's going to tame like 2% for each feeding, so it should be fine. Now I can repair some of the stuffs that, uh, that they destroyed or tried to destroy during the attacks. And we're gonna have another soldier in our army pretty pretty soon, which is going to be a helpful addition to the next uh, steps that we want to take in the playthrough. Usually to tame this uh, creature faster you need some magic cake or you might need some kibble but if you do it this way you don't have to waste any time procuring those items or creating those items so you just need to starve it first and as you can see this is in real time it's going quite fast you don't have to wait a lot you just need to be careful around the raft or around your trap not to get any uh, threats, you know, you have to dispose pretty fast on, of any carnivorous creatures that might spawn near to your trapping spot. So the basically the taming effect remains the same somewhere around 100%, so you get the most levels. And there you go. The Terry is now 190 level. Has pretty huge stats already, which is great. We're still gonna have to level it up a bit, quite a bunch actually. 
to get it to 10,000 health and 500% melee damage. And that way is going to be very useful to us when we are going to find uh, and fight eventually Alpha Raptor, Alpha Rexes actually. That's what we are aiming for. Those gives the best items in the game. And also the most experience. So we're gonna create one of these uh, <laughs> journeyman uh, saddles for it. It's gonna give us uh, 73 armor. 75 even so that's going to be helpful again this uh, saddle i was able to get in one of the drops the yellow drops feel good to go and search those from time to time you might get some really nice stuff it's not consistent but uh, it's still better than uh, working with the prim primitive engrams that you can research right so you need every advantage that you can get for any fight that you want to do. Right now, we're gonna move the raft to a safer location. But I also have some of the other tame creatures already kited through to have them ready for for the future fights, right? For the future little wars that we want to take. <laughs> Always following distance should be low, aggression should be neutral, live on, uh, group whistling, just in case you need them so you can call them all into your help. So you can see that with the difference between the one, 190 and 166, and you'll see a lot more of that uh, when you're gonna when you're gonna start leveling up because uh, for one level for the 190 you're gonna get uh, a lot more HP right? more hit points per level so now we're basically starting to kill everything that's around us we're gonna clear basically this uh, part of the island we're also gonna go to the redwoods to the swamp so we can get a lot of uh, uh, you know enemy creatures attacking us all at once this way we level up faster also we're gonna look for alphas in the area pretty sure somewhere close here is a good spawning point for a uh, alpha carno which is doable right now for this theory uh, yeah also the bigger the creature the most XP you're gonna get, so Diplos, for example, are, are a very good bet for you. Level up your Thames. They have a lot of hit points and you can do a lot of uh, damage to them with the Terries, so... Decent way to level up any Terries that you have in your army, right? Just be careful, be mindful the fact that uh, the Terry can actually harvest during attacks especially wood which is going to weight you down so be careful to clean your inventory constantly of any meat and any wood those are the most weighty things that you can get so another level and we're gonna have a uh, melee update this time around you get 15% more melee per each level which is good clean up the inventory and we're good to go for the next uh, encounter here near the swamps this time we're gonna take on a Bronto it's a level 20 no sweat his damages doesn't uh, basically do anything to us because we have uh, 75 far more and the Bronto at level 20 apparently does below 75 damage, so that's good. And it's all a game of numbers, basically, so you have to calculate these things and to keep them in mind. There's a Carno and also an Anki. We're gonna kill both. Anki is gonna give us a lot of uh, keratin, which we can use later on for Argentavis' saddles and for T-Rex saddles and so on. So good for us. We also already have an Anki, so no need to tame another one, as long as that one is being kept alive by us and by the rest of the tames. So right now I know it's well protected. 
All right, now it's time to kill a Spino. And also some pesky uh, raptors that keep on attacking us. A good thing to mention here is that the, um, the raptors are too small and cannot jump you. Basically, they cannot uh, unsaddle you. When they jump you, on, on the, when you're when you're riding a Terry, so that's uh, that's amazing actually. So it leaves up any other potential threats, and now we're ready to take on the Spino. Again, level 20, not a real threat to us, although uh, its attack range and attack uh, uh, basically melee damage is a little bit higher than an herbivore. Still, no no real threat to us. So another Alpha here attacking this uh, Diplo, we're gonna kill it, we're gonna kill them both. Gonna get more arrows and a lot of experience from one kill, which is great. I don't even know what level this is, uh, sometimes the game doesn't display the levels, but... <laughs> oh, 11.35, okay, that's fine. It's even smaller than the last one that we had. And we have three levels that we can uh, all go into health. And for each level up in health, we are getting 800 hit points, right? So that's the Carno, level 20. Again, not a real big threat. But what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to kill it with, uh, with my own character using the long neck. So I can actually get a couple of levels so I can research more engrams. It's gonna be hard to do it like this, but uh, it should pay off. It should give me quite a bunch of uh, of levels if I manage to kill it with the character itself, rather with, than with the tame. I'm gonna use this rock formation here to stay a little bit safe and shoot the Carno from a long distance. For the time being, he's a little bit preoccupied there with other tames. I'm gonna put it on neutral just to make sure it doesn't attack when I start attacking. And I was just going to start putting some rounds into the Carno with the long neck whenever I can get it. Kill it quite fast actually because the long neck is also, I think, an ascended long neck, so it has like 800 hit, hit points damage per shot. Should be quite easy and fast to do it, right? So that's about it, I guess, for this episode. Uh, killing a bunch of alphas just to gain some levels. And we had luck, we had a lot of luck of finding one of these high level Terry spawned near the location that we need to be in right now, so we can actually increase our army for a little bit. Always good to have more tamed creatures at your disposal, just in case you lose one, you can always fall back to another one, and so on. Okay, so, the higher the level, the better the tame. Always look out for those things, and uh, you'll be fine, right? <laughs> it seems to me that I've got a little bit stuck here, I don't know exactly this, this uh, lag when you're trying to go over some of these uh, rock form formations. But, yeah, you'll get used to it. It's not the perfect game, you know, but uh, it's still a fun one to play, right? Okay, hope you actually picked up something from this video, and please enjoy the game as it is, until it's still uh, at your disposal on the stores, right? get in the commission and we're gonna lose a great game soon but hey still great fun to have right that's it have fun playing the game <laughs>